to, to look at it again, right? And I was excited through the, the, the fact that she was a, a Muslim because I could have a conversation with somebody, spiritually. And, you know, spiritually and, 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 and get some uh, kickback, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm not a, like, I, I know my stuff. Right, right. I, it's, I would have to I have to dust it off, but once I start going, it's like it just starts coming to you again, right? Exactly. Yeah. And we started speaking, but like something different about her was, uh, yeah, I understand that you know she's we're in a relationship here, right? So right. I know that <laughs> that she's not being perfect, right? I mean, I, right? yeah, uh, but like I I see I see her faith through her actions. Mm -hmm. And I've been around enough Christian people that I didn't see that. And myself, I wasn't really... And really even at either. the time of the Prophet, there actually, uh, and this was probably last week, and I heard uh, one of the scholars tell this story. Um, mm -hmm. There was a lady that, you know, that um, a non-Muslim man was interested in marrying. And, you know, that lady became a source of uh, that, um, that spark in him to seek the Well, truth. that's the thing, like, you yeah, know, like everything happens. happens for a reason. Exactly, yeah. So, you know, like you were saying, there's a reason for me being here today. Yeah. There's a reason why God allowed her, even though it's forbidden, right, right, to enter into my life and me enter and, and exactly. vice versa. So I can't be, I can't shed a blind eye to that. Yeah, just because it came through that door. Yeah, I'm like well, we met, we met on a nap. Come yeah. on, <laughs> right? Which is true, we didn't yeah. on a nap. It wasn't random. Right? It, 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 it was not random, right? Yeah. So I have to, I can't ignore it, yeah. and I have to follow through. Now, when she did say. Uh, you have to convert. Mm -hmm. I knew. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I knew. But I was like, at the same time, are we like pushing? Yeah, <laughs> you know exactly. I mean? like, do we have to speed this up? But then, you know, as we we spoke about it, you know, and it was a, uh, I'm not gonna lie, to you, it was a bit tense mm -hmm. that conversation at the beginning. And more so on my part, right? Uh, like, you might want to worship your brother. Like, yeah, slow down, right? Uh, I realized that it, 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 it was bound to happen anyway. Mm -hmm. So my reluctance was on my part and my part alone, right? right? Because there is a reason for this woman in my life. So why not just allow things to be... I guess for a better word, organic, and just let it flow, yeah. as opposed to let I could I want to be able to dictate what I want at what time and when, you know, as opposed to just allowing things to happen happen. Yeah. Right? I mean, part of that is like you cannot become Muslim unless God wants you to be, right? Because, like you know, look, I mean, Prophet Abraham, right? Mm -hmm. He couldn't get his father to accept Islam. So here's the okay. Right. You mentioned that, and that was a question I was going to ask you, if we went there. Yeah. Because in the in the lineage that uh, of my understanding, we went through uh, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, right, and then that's what you were, you know, Joseph right. and Joseph, and then the you know going to Egypt, four hundred years of slavery, Moses pops in from Moses, and so on and so forth, right? Because the promise to uh, to Abraham. Abraham and, and Sarai, yeah. who they later become Sarah, was that through their seed will become many many nations, right? It was through those two particular people, right? Abraham and, and his uh, mature wife, right? She was outside of the ability to, to have right. children. Yeah. So then Abraham had... And the Christians teach that he went against God's God's will, right? He tried to speed up the prophecy on his in his own way by then being with his con and Sarah was a part of that. It was also Sarah's decision saying, Hey, no right. you know, have relations with your concubine. And then it did lead to a son. But then Christians do believe that and they do say that yes, Abraham was the, the, the where Islam came from and Isaac is where then Judaism uh, from Judaism, uh, like the Judaism to right. Christianity, and so there is that fork in the road in which then we start to go this way. So now we're on going in the same direction on the, on the highway, but there's a medium dividing us. Right. If I could use that term, All right? So we go along that path, and then we hit to Jesus, and then, like you said, 
we then go again in a major fork when uh, the, the Christian is, uh, he died for, for the sins of the world, uh, was buried, rose three days later, ascended to heaven, so on and so forth, right? And then the, the Quran teaches different, right? So why the split with is, 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 Ishmael is, well, is my question. So, okay, Because so, that leads to the, the, it going this way, and you know what I mean? Right. So, so two things here, right? Uh, one is... Uh, because the promise of right. God to Abraham. Yeah, no, so one thing is that we don't believe that Abraham went, we, we don't have anything that Abraham went against the word of God or he tried to do something that was not allowed for him to do. Okay? Right. So that's one thing. We don't believe that. We're not told that or anything like that. Um, regarding this, actually, this is an interesting thing, right? I mean, because Quran says that, you know, that was actually something that was an issue of arrogance, right? An issue of arrogance. Arrogance. arrogance? Right. So basically, because before the time, before Muhammad, peace be upon him, came, the Jews knew that there's going to be a prophet that would be coming from mm -hmm. Arabs, right? And uh, they they knew that, and they you know they were waiting for him, and so on and so forth. But when he came from the lineage that he came from, well, that got them upset, right? That he's not from one of us, like you know. So that got them upset, and that was one of the reasons that some of them, or most of them, could not move on to accept Muhammad as the prophet, mm -hmm. right? And that's the whole notion of that. Look, you know. You don't go by color or race, you know, when it comes to the orders of God, right? It's not, so again, you're not worshiping your tribe. You're not doing following your tribe. Just like Satan, right? I mean, dude, I mean, you know, Allah tells you to prostrate to Adam, that's it, end of discussion, right? It's not about, oh, he's not from my type, but I'm from fire, he's from clay and dust, why should I worship him, right? So obviously that was a contention because, there. Because the Jewish faith is not really evangelical in any way right they kind of want to stick within their own right so that was a test for them right that you know so what if it's not from you right right I mean, if you have all the signs and you knew i mean allah says in quran that uh they know him like they know their children like they know their son mm -hmm. so the people at that time they had no doubt that he is a prophet that we are waiting for right that that's something that you know but they consciously chose just not to yeah Right, so that was a test for them. Right, so continuing on with Ishmael. So Ishmael was born before Isaac. A good 14 years, let's say, I think it was. Yeah, so I, so I don't know like that sort of difference, but the point is that, yes, I mean, you know, had God chosen, he could have been from the same lineage, right? Right. But, yeah, that split does create that extra test, and that's from the test of God, right? I mean, mm -hmm. to see... And, and there are other tests like that too, right? I mean, for example, you know, not an incident like that. So that type of incident would happen, right? I mean, God does test people. I mean, paradise is not cheap. No, right. Right? Yeah. So that, you actually do get cleansed if you actually end up in paradise, right? I mean, one of the great tests were like, so when Prophet Muhammad was in Makkah, right? Um, he, so right now, this is where we face when we are, you know, uh, praying. Yes, yes, yeah. In Makkah, right? So it was the direction of Makkah. So he was fading uh, Jerusalem in the beginning. So when you pray, mm -hmm. he was facing Jerusalem. Abraham. No, no, uh, Prophet Muhammad. Oh, Muhammad, sorry. All the Muslims were facing Jerusalem. At the beginning. In the beginning. Okay. Right? Jews were facing Jerusalem, right? Fair enough, no problem. You know, when they came to... So, because you can be in Mecca and you can be facing, you know, Kaaba, uh -huh. that's built by Abraham. Right. And you can be facing Jerusalem at the same time, no problem, right? Because you're already in Mecca, you can choose a direction. And you face both at the same time. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, okay. Right, but when you go up because north, that's the center. Exactly. So you're right. already at the center. You can mm -hmm. face anywhere, right? Mm -hmm. But when you when they went up north, so now they have choice. Either they're going to be facing Makkah or Kaaba, mm -hmm. or they're going to be facing Jerusalem. You can't face both at the same time. Right. And Prophet Muhammad had this in his heart that to face that, right? But they were still following Jerusalem because he is not the lawmaker, right? Right. And at some point, actually, happened. Uh, at some point, God changed it to 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 Kaaba, mm -hmm. right? That this is going to be your thing, and that also became a contention, right? And God said that another you know, contention, yeah. Yeah. So God said that you know, for those who follow God, this is it, right? I mean, yeah, you have to differ from Jews, then you have to differ from Jews. Simple. Right. Simple, I mean, yeah. it's up to you. Like you yeah. know, now, it's like oh, I can't blend in. That's actually the call for prayer. Oh, yeah. So, so we have like obviously five daily prayers. 
So the translation of this is that Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, God is the greatest. Allah is greatest. I testify there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah. And that's repeated again. Testify that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Testify that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. 